Hey everybody, Ted Steffen here, Outfishing Insider. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I clean a queen snapper, and we're gonna show the flaying part, and then of course, taking out the throat, which is one of my favorites. We call those fish wings. Now, I know a lot of people have different ways of how they clean fish and the techniques they do it. This is my version of it. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell, that way you're gonna get notifications for our next videos coming up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, welcome back. So today we're cleaning a queen snapper. So the first cut I always make is right up from under the pec fin. I make that incision up to the top of the head. Then I'd say with about half an inch or an inch of the tip of the blade, we're gonna run it down the backside past the dorsal fin and make that pass all the way to the tail and then what I like to do is uh, you can make several passes now and what we're looking for is for that tip of the blade to hit the spinal cord and you'll kind of you'll feel it bouncing off that spinal cord you won't miss it so um, this actual fish here I think we got it in about 800 feet of water uh, deep dropping so it was, a, it was a good surprise uh, we got one that day and uh, I'll have the video up soon of the actual catch uh, a lot of excitement on the boat when that happened so at this point here now I'm just working my way on the other side of that spinal cord and just kind of how I turn my blade down at an angle that way we're maximizing the amount of meat we get and so most people like to take that fillet off. I like to keep it there. Uh, it seems like I just have a better running with the blade when it doesn't have that bend in it, when that fillet's missing. And we're doing the same thing here. Come around that pec fin to the top of the head, make that incision down the dorsal fin. And again, make those couple strokes. You got a good blade one to two times you should be hitting that spinal cord. Um, yeah, this fish too is, I'd say similar to American Red Snapper, uh, the color of it, the texture, more firm, and is sweet and pretty mild. And uh, just excellent eating fish. We got this one, like I said, 800 foot of water. So now again, Always important to have a little flex to your blade. It's easy to uh, curve around those rib bones. And so now here we're gonna come through and finish off this side of the fillet. Come cut through the skin. And there's half of it. So now at this point, we're just gonna flip it over. This fillet is at 90% done. And I'm wondering why that has that blood build up there. So make the last couple passes and that fillet is freed up. So, and I tried to, tried to be careful on not cutting too much of that belly meat because we will be uh, taking the throat off of this one. Um, all my snappers, the bigger snappers, I'm keeping those throats. Excellent eating. So now we're gonna do that trick. There's that tab. And I do have a video on how to remove these throats. And so there's that tab, you come through. Now when you come around, that knife is naturally gonna follow through where you need to cut. You're gonna run right on those rib bones and slide right through. And we're gonna flip it over and do the same exact thing. Find that tab and it's pretty, uh, Pretty interesting technique there, how that keeps it attached to the actual, uh, to the rest of the fish. So I've seen people hack those off with, you know, some kind of snips or a saw when you really don't need that. Just, just use the blade you have. I'm gonna clean up a little bit here. There goes the heart. That's it the throats removed or the collar we actually call them fish wings um, 
Now this is just something I do out of habit. I always pop the eyes. And usually I cut through the stomach and be able to pop that swim bladder. Let's say it was a long two days on the water and after cleaning probably close to 60 fish, uh, it slipped past me. It happens. So removing the flay here from the skin, uh, pretty easy, uh, just back and forth motion. And usually if the flays are too wide and the blade's not long enough, I'll cut it down right through the bloodline there. And that way you have two have separate pieces. A lot easier to flay it then. And now here we want to get rid of that bloodline. I'll just take my knife blade, keep it at a little angle and make a few passes through. Now you're getting rid of your pin bones and your bloodline with these cuts. That way uh, you're going to have cleaner meat. Now also if you freeze it and you leave bloodline in, that's going to leave a real fishy taste. So did the same thing, put that blade to an angle, a few passes through, and the rest goes in the canal, feed some of the other fishies in there. Here, whenever there's a floating fish and I can do something about it, I just get a hold of it, quick pop, and that thing's going to the bottom. Yeah, I barely got up there, huh? All right, so final steps to the to the throat or the collar is just removing scales, a little bit of cleanup, and that's it, folks. Um, there you have uh, queen snapper filleted, and of course our fish wings. Hey everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching that how-to video on cleaning a queen snapper. Make sure you guys leave your question and comments below. Also, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and you know the drill. Hit that bell button so you're getting notified on our next upcoming videos. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.